Hi and welcome to another episode of Redkin Brian Master. Today we're making salmon from the flame board and what you need for it and how to do it I'm going to show you in this episode. And this is what I got from Akschlag. Now this is a flame board and we're going to open this up together and see what's inside. So obviously besides the regular packaging there's a manual it's a little bit of commercial stuff. Um, then there's the flame board and check out the width of it. So look, this is my thumb um, and this is the width of this board. So this should last us for quite a long time. You can also tell uh, the holes that they drilled into it um, to fit um, this holder for the salmon, but you'll see that in greater detail in a little while. Um, and then there's some um, There's the holder for it where the, the board goes into and I mean you can tell by the thickness of the, um, of the metal that this is rather um, solid and then this will go onto the roast of the barbecue, um, the grate and this will hold it to the grate. And this is what we're cooking today. Now this is a 1.2 kg uh, side of a Norwegian salmon. Um, I've already checked for any additional bones uh, but there's none. And then we're going to season it with this salmon rub, specifically for uh, flame board salmon. Now what you want to do is you want to put it on three to four hours prior um, before you actually use it um, and put it on a rack so that all the, um, the juices that now come off the salmon can drip off. And then we're going to put it back in the fridge for it to cure a little bit and then we're going to water the plank. The salmon has been in the fridge and marinating for about two hours now and now we're going to take care of the wooden board so uh, what you should do is water it for about an hour before you actually use it. Now as it is rather thick um, we may have to turn it after half an hour but um, if you water it enough and you take care of um, the, the amount of heat that it gets, um, this board will really last a long time in comparison to those thin ones that you can get which usually are done for after about two or three times. After about an hour I've taken out the board and it's uh, nicely soaked up the water and what we're going to do now is we're going to take our salmon which has cured for three hours and place it on our board and what you want to do is you want to thicker part towards the end piece here where it actually sticks into the holder in the barbecue um, because obviously this part will be closer to the flames and it will be also the thickest part and will need the longest. You're looking for an internal temperature in the thickest part of about 65 degrees Celsius. Now the next thing what we're going to do is we're obviously going to fix this onto the salmon but we also have to find um, where this little hole is here in the, in the center. So we're going to make a incision roughly here and that will help us to fix this holder. Now what you want to do is you have to maneuver the salmon around a little bit and then fold it over and fit it onto the salmon and then you have to find that little hole, stick it through and then in the back you will fit it with this little screw that's provided. All right, I think that looks absolutely amazing and we're gonna put it on the barbecue. Now the Kamado is running at about 220 degrees when the lid is closed but obviously we're going to now leave it open and as you can tell I've um, fixed the holder towards the back of uh, the, the grate and we're now going to put the salmon on so we're just going to slide it into the holder And we're going to leave the salmon there until it has reached its eternal temperature of 65 degrees. The salmon is already doing very good. Uh, it's been about 45 minutes. Um, we're now going to take care of the side and I've decided to go rather light today. So we have some lovely salad here. We have some walnuts that we're going to put over and 
some cranberries and I've made a quick vinaigrette made out of olive oil, balsamico vinegar from Modena, um, some mustard, uh, a little bit of salt, pepper and a little bit of sugar. Alright, give that a good shake and then when the salmon is ready we're going to plate up. Alright, it took roughly an hour to reach the internal temperature on the thickest piece and um, I've let it rest for a few minutes but I think it looks absolutely fantastic. The sugar has nicely uh, melted so we're going to take off the screw. Obviously be careful, you know this could still be hot. Um, so I suggest that you wear a glove with a liner or your barbecue gloves and then we're going to take it off. So let's see, but it is wonderfully juicy and I think it will work well together with the salad. And there you have it guys, our flame board salmon with a little bit of salad, cranberries and walnuts. I think it looks absolutely delicious and we're going to dig in now. Alright guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video about the flame board salmon. Now it was absolutely delicious. It worked really well together with the salad. So definitely a can try, not a must try, but a can try if you, if you like to recreate it. Uh, and it was super easy on the Kamado as well. Now if you did enjoy the video, I would appreciate a comment and a thumbs up. And please head over to that subscribe button for more great videos to come. And I hope to see you soon again at Redken Brymaster.